the, the, these I mean, a lot of scammers or let's say frauds or companies that are exposed as frauds are a lot more based on the internet or internet based because numbers like uh, you know user numbers or website traffic um, stuff like that is much easier to fake than you know like you know you know what they did back back in 2010 they would sit outside a factory and actually count the number of trucks going in and out yeah yeah yeah. Uh, you know, that could could be seen as a proof that uh, that the the scale of the business was not as big as they they claimed. But with the, with the tech company, it, it's not necessarily that easy to judge exactly you know what is the true GMV, like gross merchandise value of an e-commerce company, for example. It's it's so easy for them to let's say uh, they buy up a related party, like they buy up buy up a subsidiary, they get cash out that way, and then they funnel it back into revenues by buying products, you know, in a circle. It's like a recycling of cash. You know, that's going on a lot, but there's no way to prove it. Um, so in, in a lot of cases, I, I, I think that these, you know, some businesses, they are probably real businesses, but, you know, have great products, but they're overstating the scale of the business by, you know, by a huge margin. Ah, I see. Uh, but there's nothing I can prove. Uh, and without doing this deep research that some of the other guys are doing, uh, I'm basically just kind of using mosaic theory. I'm trying to figure out what's the likelihood that this is a fraud or not. And I have all sorts of, um, uh, of metrics that I look at uh, to, to figure that out. Wow. Um, now, do you see, are you referring to just in general, the, the stocks being on, on the Hong Kong exchange or whatever exchanges, or is, are you referring to like the ones that you know about on the US exchanges or, or just all of them? Well, you know, it, it's funny, I, you know, before, talk, before getting on this call, I was actually looking through the list of, um, of ADRs, Chinese ADRs listed in the US. Um, and there are so many of them that I would never touch, maybe like half. Maybe half of them or so um, that have either been exposed and or, or you know targeted by short sellers, uh, or that I know personally are, are a little bit fishy in one way or another. Um, so I, you know, I'll be very careful about these Chinese companies, especially these smaller companies that, that you don't know the actual product. Uh, 